Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will learn about general equations of lines of regression. Now we know that the electric form of line of regression of y on x is given as y is equal to mx plus c and the regression line of x and y is given as x is equal to and y plus c where in the first equation the coefficient of x that is m is called the regression coefficient of y on x and in the second equation the coefficient of y that is m is called the regression coefficient of x on y and c is a constant now the regression equation of x on y is obtained by fitting a straight line of the type x is equal to and y plus c to the observed values of y and x by the method of least squares. Now in the method of least squares, a regression line is so chosen that the sum of the squares of the deviations parallel to the axis of x is minimized and then it is called the line of regression of x and y. Now let x1, y1, x2, y2 and so on up to x and y n be the n pairs of observations on two variables x and y and let the line of best fit that is the regression line to be found by the method of least squares be x is equal to and y plus c. Now for the observed value y1 of y we get two values of x which are x1 that is the observed value and other is the estimated value and y1 plus c. So for the observed value y1 of y, we are getting two values of x, that is the observed value x1 and the estimated value and y1 plus c. Now the difference between these two values is m 
y1 plus c minus x1. And this difference is the deviation or error t1 which is made on prediction. Now the line AB is of the form, that is the equation of the line AB is x is equal to m y plus c and this is one point of observation whose coordinates are x1 y1. So here for the observed value y1 of y, we are getting two values of x, that is the observed value which is x1 and the estimated value which is m y1 plus c. And the difference of these two values is m y1 plus c minus x1 which is called the deviation or error d1. Similarly, for the observation, that is for the pair of observation x2, y2, for the observed value y2 of y, we are getting two values of x, that is the observed value x2 and the estimated value m y2 plus c. And the difference, that is the difference of these two values is called the deviation or error d2. And similarly we can find the other differences d3, d4 and so on up to dn. So we can write similarly the other differences d2, d3 and so on up to dn are m y2 plus c minus x2, m y3 plus c minus x3 and so on up to m y n plus c minus x n. Now we will find the values of m and c such that d1 square plus d2 square plus so on up to dn square is minimum. That is, we will find the values of m and c such that the sum of the squares of deviations parallel to the axis of x is minimum. Now we know the values of d1, d2 and so on up to dn. So we will find the values of m and c such that d1 square plus d2 square plus so on up to dn square is minimum. That is m y1 plus c minus x1 whole square plus m y2 plus c minus x2 whole square plus so on up to m y n plus c minus x n whole square is minimum. Now let z is equal to m y1 plus c minus x1 whole square plus m y2 plus c minus x2 whole square plus so on up to m y n plus c minus x n whole square. This means we have to find the values of m and c such that z is minimum. Now from the differential calculus, we know that if the partial differential
coefficient del z over del c and del z over del m are each equal to 0 then we will have a minimum value of z Now this is the value of Z. So del Z over del C is equal to 2 into MY1 plus C minus X1 the whole plus 2 into MY2 plus C minus X2 the whole plus so on up to 2 into mYn plus C minus Xn the whole is equal to 0. And del Z over del M is equal to 2Y1 into mY1 plus C minus X1 the whole plus 2Y2 into mY2 plus C minus X2 the whole plus so on up to 2yn into myn plus c minus x in the whole is equal to 0. All we can write this equation as m into y1 plus y2 plus so on up to yn the whole plus nc minus x1 plus x2 plus so on up to x in the whole is equal to 0. And from this equation we can write m into y1 square plus y2 square plus so on up to yn square the whole plus c into y1 plus y2 plus so on up to yn the whole minus x1 y1 plus x2 y2 plus so on up to xn yn the whole is equal to 0. Or we can write m into now y1 plus y2 plus so on up to yn will be equal to summation y plus nc minus x1 plus x2 plus so on up to xn will be equal to summation x is equal to 0. And, and from this equation we have m into summation y square plus c into summation y minus summation of x into y is equal to 0. Or we can write summation x is equal to m into summation y plus nc and summation x into y is equal to m into summation y square plus c into summation y. Now let this be equation a and this be equation b. Thus, if x is equal to my plus c is the equation of line of regression, then the constants m and c are determined for these two equations. And these equations are called normal equations. Now on solving equations A and B by the method of cross multiplication we get 
is equal to n into summation x y minus summation x into summation y one upon n into summation y square minus summation y whole square which is further equal to summation of x into y minus summation x into summation y over n whole upon summation y square minus summation y whole square by n and c is equal to summation x into summation y square minus summation of x into y into summation y whole upon n into summation y square minus summation y whole square. Now we know that in the equation x is equal to my plus c m represents that is the coefficient of y represents the regression coefficient of x and y that is bxy. So here we have got this as the value of m. Therefore, bxy, which is the regression coefficient of x and y, is equal to summation xy minus summation x into summation y over n whole upon summation y square minus summation y whole square over n. Similarly, we can find for the regression of y on x the normal equations are summation y is equal to n c plus m into summation x and summation of x into y is equal to c into summation x plus m into summation x square. And solving these two equations, that is solving x and y, we get m is equal to m into summation of x into y minus summation x into summation y over n whole upon n into summation x square minus summation x whole square which is equal to summation of x into y minus summation x into summation y over n whole upon summation x square minus summation x whole square over n and c is equal to summation x into summation x square minus summation of x into y into summation x whole upon n into summation x square minus summation x whole square. Now we know that in the equation that is in the algebraic form of the equation of line of regression of y on x that is y is equal to mx plus c the coefficient of x which is m represents the regression coefficient of y on x that is bx. Now here we have got this as the value of m. 
therefore bynx is equal to summation xy minus summation x into summation y over n whole upon summation x square minus summation x whole square over n. Now, in the normal equations which we have obtained earlier, x and y indicate the observed values of the respective variables. And also, in the equations which we have obtained, we have used summation x, summation y. That is, we have used a simple notation for the sake of simplicity, where summation x is equal to summation xi, where i varies from 1 to n, and summation of x into y is equal to summation of xi into yi, where i varies from 1 to n, etc. So in this session we have learnt about general equations of regression lines. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.